I'm going to talk now about a feature that we all love, but sometimes it doesn't work perfectly and can get us into trouble. I'm talking about the auto discovery capability on the logs in QReader. It's actually known as a uh, traffic analysis. So in this case, we see that we get a bunch of, uh, of uh, Linux logs that are unknown until they hit the threshold in which QReader says, oh, okay, I know which those are, and that's uh, uh, a Linux uh, server from CentOS. And it got it quite right. This is actually from uh, this machine in here, which is uh, CentOS. So that worked fine. But what if auto-discovery gets confused? Let's say that the logs from CentOS are very similar to the logs in Solaris, for example. And you and, and they say that the auto-discovery triggers on Solaris, and you don't want that to happen. Well, in 732, there's an easy way of actually do that. Let me actually go here to the DSM editor from here, from the admin tab. And uh, now there's a button that helps you deal with that. So let's say that I'm, that again, the, the case I'm pretending to make happen is, uh, let's say that it was, they were being recognized as Solaris and I don't have any Solaris box in here. So all I have to do is Solaris, and uh, this will be operating system authentication message. I can select that, and on the configuration tab, there is this button enable auto detection. If I check that baby off and I save it, now the next time the logs will come will not be recognized as, uh, as Solaris. Now, uh, notice that there's also even a very powerful feature in here that also enables to do detection of, uh, of, of, of properties automatically. That's actually very powerful as well. Now, this also works with, uh, let's say that uh, I'm going to create a new log source of my own with the DSM editor. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it as you're going to create one called here test. Uh, and I select that one, click select, and when I go there, notice that I also have the capability of enabling active detection for my very own logs. Let's say that I create multiple, you know, similar types of, uh, or s multiple instances of the same uh, log source. Well, I can enable auto discovery in Curator, even, even though it is my own DSM. And notice that in here you have the thresholds, well, you know, minimum success rate, 35. Minimum events for active detection, 25. Uh, I, I give up after, you know, a thousand of those and I'm not able to recognize. So you can play with those parameters both in the DSMs you create as well as the custom DSMs that you have. So I can, uh, let, let's say for example, uh, and this actually happened in my system, I don't have any tree comb thing. So, and I got some times that auto discovery things that I do have three com devices. Well, all I need to do is go here, enable, disable that auto detection, save it, and no longer the traffic analysis feature of Curator will be confused with, uh, with that three com device.